Hello students! In this video, I'm going to tell you about referencing. OK, keep awake, it's not that bad, and good referencing will mean you get a good grade in your ELC and other PolyU subjects, so pay attention. In the video, I'm going to cover types of sources, avoiding plagiarism and turn it in, and referencing styles. OK, first, some definitions. What is a citation and what is referencing? A citation, the verb is cite, is a summary or a paraphrase or a quotation and a reference in your work of a published or unpublished source. Referencing is clearly acknowledging the source of the information you use in your academic work. We need to do both citing and referencing. I have a question, what are the advantages of citing? Pause the video and write down some ideas now. OK, here are the main advantages. How many did you get? Did you write down any that are not listed? If yes, maybe they're still correct. Ask your teacher in the next class. So now, what kind of different sources can you use? Where can you find the information to support your points in your essay? Again, pause the video and write down some ideas. OK, so here's a list of possible ideas. By organisations, I mean NGOs, such as Greenpeace. So a long list which are more reliable and which are less reliable. OK, we want you to use sources such as journals, books, government websites, organisations. These are more reliable. Sources such as Wikipedia are not reliable. Anyone can edit it, so don't use it as a source in your essay. But you can use it to find other sources. Ask your teacher how if you're not sure. Newspapers, they're OK, but don't overuse them. Talk to your classmates and teachers about the other sources. Do you think they can be used or not? Next, the library. The PolyUse library is great. Make sure you use it. Ask the librarians for help. They want to help you, but if you don't ask, they cannot help you. Use the OneSearch tool and go to the library workshops to find out more. OK, next, plagiarism. What is it? Here's a definition from a dictionary. It means you're copying work and pretending it is your own. So don't do it. How can you avoid it? You need to get into the habit of noting down everything you read or look at and then Remember to cite these sources if you use them in your essays and other work at university. You get credit for citing and referencing, so don't worry too much about your number of references. If there are too many, your teacher will tell you. Next, turn it in. OK, it's not there to punish you, and it can help you write a better essay. In ELC subjects, you are allowed to see your Turnitin originality report and then edit your essay and resubmit. So, this allows you to write a better essay. But, to do this, you must submit early. If you wait until the last minute to submit, there's no time for you to edit and revise your essay. So, submit early. First draft a week or more before the deadline. Finally, referencing styles. In the ELC, there are two main styles. If you are studying engineering, use IEEE. -E -E. If you're doing other subjects, use APA. If in doubt, ask your teacher. OK, in the text of the essay, IEEE -E -E uses numbers while APA uses years. In the reference list, IEEE -E -E is numbered while APA is alphabetical. 
please do look at the referencing guides on the ELC website. It's easy to get right and correct references mean a higher grade. So good reason to get it right. So that's it from me. I hope referencing has not been too bad. Remember, enjoy your time at PolyU.